So, Arctic Monkeys have returned after playing their last gig in 2019. And if, like me, you're a big fan, then it's an exciting time to see what they're going to go up to. They've played several gigs now across Europe, and shout out to Setlist FM, a great website for seeing what they've been playing. The detail to go into on the website is great, and you even find out things like the song they're currently walking onto, which is a song by a guy called Francis Monkman. It's a song from the 80s, which is pretty fun sounding. Still opening with Dill Wanna Know, and I don't really think you can get better than that. I suppose maybe the most disappointing thing from these shows is that there's not been any new music, uh, which you'd hope to see. But they have started playing Push and Approaching again for the first time since 2011, which sounds pretty good. I noticed on the Setlist FM website that there's been different arrangements on different songs, like Fireside and Arabella, and I had a look to see what that was about. I think basically Alex Turner has been dropping the guitar a lot more and his look and style on stage like is more akin to that of The Last Shadow Puppets in terms of being more of a lead singer and in terms of what he's wearing. In fact, on Arabella, Turner doesn't play the solo, which he usually plays, and they now have six or seven members on stage, which they did have during the last kind of tour. And looking on Reddit, these live musicians come from bands we might have heard of like Milburn and Mini Mansions and I do think it makes things more interesting from a visual point of view and obviously from the sound point of view. There's been a couple of moments where Alex Turner has decided to play different songs as little intros or finishes including Fell in Love with a Girl by the White Stripes before breaking into I Bet You Look Good on the Dance Floor. <laughs> And also slipping a bit of the Smiths in there. They've been consistently finishing with Are You Mine, which they did during the last tour. And it's obviously a banger of a song to finish on. The set itself aesthetically looks pretty cool with the big ring with uh, all kind of visuals going on there. For me, in terms of Acting Monkey's live shows, the bar was set when they played Austin City Limits back during the AM era. But they're definitely still one of the most exciting bands to see live. And it'd be interesting what persona Alex Turner goes for. We've seen him go from the early days, to the Julian Casablancas look, to the Teddy Boy look, to the more tranquility bass look from the last tour. And it looks like he's going for more of the Last Shadow Puppets look this time. So it'd be interesting to see. But anyway, how excited are you for new Arctic Monkey stuff? Are you going to see them at Leeds or Reading? Let me know what you think in the comments.